Welcome in today we have an extremely unserious funny one blind dating five video game nerds from kickback which is like jubilee but better let's see how this goes what video game title best describes dating you and Ooh, why that's uh, a rough question hmm, how do i answer that uh lies of p because i'm a pathological liar but i'm beautiful look at the shine on that head uh farming simulator that's my game because after a long night of gaming you know i gotta plow <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, honestly this is like a really hard question like you kind of need to answer it with a joke like he did and like myself how do you answer that properly we'll see if these guys do it was it was really good also fit check let's uh let's read them on the fits real quick so i'm disappointed none of them are wearing the classic gamer fit the green triforce shirt with the cargo shorts no one's wrapping it this guy kind of has the coloring scheme and then I, I was a little shocked with the- Bro, is that a- hold up. Is this a, a Biden shirt? Is this a Joe Biden horror shirt? What's going on here? Really good. And then I, I was a little shocked with that, with that last part. My name's Aiden and I'm going to be blind dating five gamers. Nice My to meet you, Aiden. My gamer girl aesthetic is definitely the pink aesthetic, pink computer. <laughs> pink setup, controller, everything. The Riz attempts would be like, yeah, like I take a bullet for you. And like my gamer tag is cutie AA pie. So they're like, oh, cutie, like cutie. Like that's what they call me. So it's like kind of like some red. You did that to yourself. You're not allowed to cringe at that. That's on you. Tags, if they have like a lot of cups, like empty cups around their Let setup. pop up here. Or if they like rage quit. True. They have, like, they're yeah. Rage quitting is cringe. I don't really like when guys mansplain to me during a game because, like, I know what I. That's also fair. Like, I've been in matches, and you know, I'm in voice chat, and some dude hears a woman speak, and he's like, "Oh, now I need to tell her how to play." Like, brother, we're all in gold. All right, we're all kind of garbage. You're not explaining anything. I'm probably gonna be the one caring. Just trust me. Okay, so a turn on for a game would be like Modern Warfare what? Three. I like when guys. What? Modern Warfare 3. I had to jump up top so you could see that. Oh, wait. You can still see it when I'm down here. Anyway, what? Modern Warfare 3? Are you out of your mind? That's a green flag? If you tell me to name like three red flag games, now we'll limit it to two. Two red flag games, any Call of Duty ever, and FIFA. And if I need a name three, I'll throw in Madden. Those are the red flags for games. But Call of Duty takes the cake. This girl might be a demon. She She's on demon time. She might really be about that life. This video just got way more interesting. Guys play that. I'm kind of been a Fortnite girly recently, so it's not like that's like a turn on, but like it's a fun game. Fortnite's okay. I respect Fortnite. What they're doing is crazy. You know, they got Rock Band in there. They have Lego in there. They have Lego Star Wars within the Lego. It goes insane. I don't play it myself, but I can respect it. So if they play that, that's like also a plus. I've heard like Valorant or Valorant, uh, however you pronounce it, like guys who play that, like it's like a red flag. If agreed. Actually, let's throw, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Take away FIFA and Madden, my fault sports gamers. I'm something of a sports gamer myself, but I like playing NHL. Anyway, Call of Duty, Valorant, League of Legends. Those are the actual red flags. My apologies. You have a PlayStation. I mean, that's a little bit of a red flag for me, but I'm- No, I'm, handshake, handshake. We're Sony haters over here. You know what it is. If you've watched the other videos. I'm not, I'm not one to judge. My ex had a PlayStation. His PlayStation was always breaking down. I kind of, I play <laughs> every day, but like only for like an hour, a few hours or so. So you have to have like a healthy balance. If you're gaming like all day, like every day, like- I got a question for the viewers at home. When you play a game, are you down with just playing for one hour? Because if I can only play for one hour, I just decide to just not game at all. And I wonder if that is a common thing or if I'm a weirdo. That's an issue. Definitely a red flag for me. All right, it's time. Okay. Wait, how did, how did he know that she was turning around like that? Okay. I like a lot of these fits. Which one don't you like though? <laughs> I, I like I like the green shirt a lot. Is it, is it the Joe Biden horror fit? All right, this dude is the F boy of the uh, the video. He's looking like this behind there. This is his exact face. You already know that. Um, but this dude's fit. I think they're gonna roast the Joe Biden horror shirt and the super baggy jeans straight out of 1999 or 2005 more so. 
<laughs> I respect it though. Everyone's fits are nice. I like the watch on the middle guy. I like everyone's fits, yeah. Looks like a good group of guys. All right, guys, my name is Aiden. My gamer tag is cutieaapop. Just realized this is the first time I've met a woman named Aiden. I mm, you know she cute. <laughs> And I have an Xbox. I like to play Modern Warfare 3. Look, he, he was doing the F-boy hands, I called it. Not that that took, you know, much knowledge to call out, but hey. Um, sometimes I like to play Fortnite. I'm also into the cozy games like Animal Crossing Stardew. and The Sims. So that's oh, a little bit about me and my games. So contestant number one, what is your name and what games do you like to play? Uh, my name is Hunter. I like to play like Modern Warfare 3. His but... real name is cooler than his gamer name. When I was little, I wanted to be named Hunter. Maybe because of Triple H. I don't really know. It's just a cool name. Big one. I used to play Fortnite religiously. I was actually a semi-professional player. And also, I play Valorant a lot right now. That's pretty much the What's a semi-professional in any game? You enter a tournament but don't win money? One, my gamer tag Aura. I like that, Aura. You can use it in your Fortnite item shop too. Hashtag oh. ad. Oh, he's a content creator. Speaking of which, please use code Noggin in the Fortnite content shop. Is that what he called it? In the Fortnite store, Epic store. Use it on Fall Guys too. Code Noggin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, contestant number two. What is your name, gamer tag, and what kind of games do you play? Uh, I'm Ron. My gamer tag is Ron. <laughs> uh, I play a lot of games. I play Overwatch. I play Fortnite, uh, Minecraft. Major red flag, your gamer tag matching your real name. It's just sus. It's an unnecessary dox. But the way Ron is spelled, you can't tell. Like, that looks like Ran. You wouldn't think someone's name is Ran. Terraria. Pokemon. Terraria? Yo, possibly controversial, Terraria sweeps Minecraft. I said it. A lot of those games, I love my DS. I mean, I honestly just like the, the, <laughs> the fist bump on the DS. Respect, brother. DS answer. I like that he plays Minecraft too. I'm a Minecraft girly as well. I got a double bed on Minecraft, just saying. <laughs> His hand gestures. <laughs> Very mischievous. <laughs> Contestant number three, what is your name, gamer tag, and what kind of games do you like to play? My name is Brandon. My gamer tag is Green Mackin, <laughs> so I like to make some money. Mainly, I've been, I've been big into Starfield. I'm kind of like a big nerd when it comes to like Dungeons and Dragons, so Dragon's Dogma 2. Also, Modern Warfare 3. Speaking of Starfield and his watch, this looks like a watch Todd Howard would wear. Just started getting to that, so I've been killing on that lately. Okay, I haven't played like most of those games, so I'm I'm kind of into like exploring though, like the game realm. I need to expand, you know. You can explore. We can explore together. Yeah, see together. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Contestant number four. What is your name, gamer tag? Bro, this legitimately looks like Joe Biden to me. I acknowledge that this is like Jason and a skull, but still. And what kind of game? He, surely he plays DBD, right? Surely, and he must play Mortal Kombat with a WB tattoo do you play my name's heston uh my gamer tag is red paper bag gang okay so me and my childhood best friends were the paper bag gang so uh i'm red we got all the colors that you can possibly make on xbox i'm an xbox gamer myself so whenever we're squatted up you know it's it's pretty neat. <laughs> the gang's all the gang's yeah, all there then. Yeah. <laughs> all the colors um i play the first person shooters r6 all the Call of Duties, past, present, future, Minecraft, of course, Rocket League, I dabble, Madden, 2K. It's all there, you know, I, I kind of So just... he is the typical dude bro gamer that you think of when you think of the typical dude bro gamer, the COD gamer. Do it all. I'm a big multiplayer guy, though. I'm not a big single player. Wide range of games you play. I like that answer. Yeah, I like- I'm like dreading the dude in the green player i like playing with a squad i like that vibe so good answer good answer all right contestant number Alrighty. five what is your name your gamer tag and what kind of games do you play uh my name is john my gamer tag is johnny on the street and to keep it real when it comes to me and you i'm not really going to be playing any games but if we're talking like on a console i can fuck up some fortnite for sure call of duty definitely skate three anything okay he, oh, listen i'm back on board skate three good shout i'm looking forward to a listen i know it's a yay but I'm looking forward to EA's Skate 4, which is like probably just going to be a live service skate. But man, I used to love Skate 3 back in the day. Unironically, was in a top three team on Skate 3. Good times.
Nintendo 64 Monkey Ball, throw it back to the GameCube. I'm versatile with it. We can play at Pathion. I really don't care, man. We can play whatever. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the gamer tag, Johnny on the street. Like, are you on the streets? You're just gonna have to find out, Shorty. <laughs> Alrighty then, okay. I guess I will find out. <laughs> All right, contestant number one. What video game title best describes dating you and why? Yeah, this is a tough question. Let's see if these dudes are saying, you. oh, the green guy had all that time to think? That sucks. This guy is super nerfed. On the spot, the best I could come up with was that stupid Lies of P joke. Probably Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. Why? <laughs> Brother, what? I'm going to be saying some off-the-wall crazy shit on the game. Like, you better be able to t handle it or you're really not going to last that long. I've I've never played the 2000. Is he Is he saying that he says the N-word? Is that what he's trying to say? What's going down? Does he does he shoot up a, an airport terminal? What's happening here? The nine version, but like, I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. You gotta look up some tic Modern Warfare 2 2009 TikToks. You gotta be there. TikTok. You gotta, or you just gotta be there. You, you in rea yeah, in reality. Yeah, yeah be there. I just had to be there, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eliminate blue shirt. <laughs> That's a very sus answer. Number two, what video game title best describes dating you and why? So I was thinking real hard and long about this for the past 10 minutes. And I'm thinking, Pess, it's how, how do you know? He's ahead of the game. Well, fantasy. This peep game. When you're with me, it's a fantasy. And it's final. You ain't gonna find nobody better. You might, but probably not. Cap. Fair. I don't know. I don't know about how. Right, like, cringe answer, but respectable answer. Because it's tongue in cheek. I like it. W for this guy. So far, he's in first, counting the green guy's farmer simulator answer. They would feel about blue, that. Answer. Blue shirts, deaf last no matter what you there's just no getting worse respectfully sure, but uh, I when i say blue shirt i mean this one not this one I heard they liked it that's what i heard i like the fantasy answer though that was a good one thank you it was a poll i saw that one on google not gonna lie i saw that one yeah, on google that one, yeah, that so far. <laughs> yeah, number yeah. number one google search was i me. thought it was reddit bro <laughs> contestant number three what video game title best describes dating you and why honestly minecraft and I'm really a simple pleasure. Like, you can always come back to me. I'm always a relaxed experience. It's nothing ever, like, extreme, and it's always enjoyable. So you signing up? He's the rebound guy. A side man? Hey. Yeah, hey, like, that's well. what he's saying. You can come back to me. Like, brother, come on. Have some more respect. Oh, oh hey. hey. He said, always come back to me. Blue guy is winning me over again. He did mention COD. He kind of, like, twisted it to the, you know, no Russian scene. If he would have left it as like the trash talk in a multiplayer COD lobby, then I could see it. Cause he did just ether the lad right here. Hey, it's all right. Bro, Sometimes hey, it's, it's what right. they need. Sometimes what? it's what they need. What? So I like that answer. I don't I don't know what you guys are hating on. It might just be a, a man thing. Cause I didn't like that answer. No, I appreciate you. You're all I care about. <laughs> we'll see if he wins though. And the rest of us are just sitting there, you know, looking Bro, like fools. <laughs> here for you bro no way he's cool though he's cool that, he's made a friend i love you uh, what i do what? No, no i like that answer that was a good answer <laughs> contestant number four you know what i'd have to say more like a war zone kind of chaotic there's always going to be stuff to do you know if you're down i'll pick you up no big deal and you know at the end of the day we're just we're just we're just trying to get a dub together you know we're just trying to win in life so see i like that answer but like I'd be the one picking you up. <laughs> that was it. Nah, you know, a good answer from him, believe it or not. This is a good answer from this lad, especially since it's from the game that he loves, you know? He's a COD gamer. He had a good COD answer. This COD answer makes me question what his what he's doing behind closed doors. All right, you gotta see me on the sticks though. Do you even have like an elite controller? An elite controller? She no. Oh. She might be a mouse and keyboard gamer, which in my opinion is cringe, but I know. First person shooters are better on mouse and keyboard unless it's Halo, whatever. I just hate keyboards. I do have an elite controller, by the way. Hey, I'll teach you a thing, okay? You just gotta stick with me and I promise you. Oh, she hates the mansplaining. Look at the eyes. He's done for. It's over. GG's. Better. We'll get better together as a team. I don't know about that answer. I feel like I'm pretty good, so. All right, contestant number five, what is it like dating you? Farming simulator, that's my game because after a long night of gaming, you know I gotta plow. <laughs> Respectfully. You know, it was it was really good, and then I I was a little shocked with that with that last part. But she likes my shirt though, so it's cool. I like his shirt, so 
that, that comment just shocked me, you know, but it was fine though. It was a I'm gonna keep you on your toes always. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you too, even though I've, we're, we're right here, you know, I feel that. All right, so the person I'm going to eliminate is contestant number four. Yeah. You're already, you're already down. Stupid no Russian guy got himself saved because he was mansplaining my skills like i know you're trying to help me but like you haven't even seen me play yet you know so that's, that's you know the reason why he I does strike me as the type to immediately assume women gamers are beneath him eliminate you hey you're lost baby that's all i gotta say <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh yo she's bad she's bad trust trust <laughs> nice to meet you nice to meet my you my name's heston nice to meet you heston yeah that's all right you know yeah you know these gentlemen they're he all knows, they're all winners worth. they're all winners so, you know, good luck. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck, ladies. Lady. And there's goodbye. Two of them? No, nah, there's just there's one. Nice oh. She's you. nice, though. She's nice, though. Trust. Worth it. I'm pretty confident in that decision. Like, I don't know. He was doubting me already, and I haven't even seen him yet. You know what I mean? Like, he had to go. He had to go. He is not the usual, like, type I'd go for. All right, guys, I'm going to be giving away $50 to Big one crispy. random cast member from this video. So whoever your favorite member was, go down to the comments and comment below. The comment with the most likes, I'm gonna randomly send that person $50. They have no idea, it's gonna be a surprise. So go so- I think I like Ron the most, though I'm sure the commenters like green guy. Port. I just can't with the hand gestures, you know? I can't do it. Whoever your favorite person was, Back to the video. Start with contestant number five. Now, if we were in an online match together, how would you impress me? How would you riz me up? See, when it comes oh, to- Oh, she's, she's switching the order that she asks these questions. She's fair, she's cool. The outside of the games, I'm gonna be the leader. So you're confident that you can carry. So I'm gonna let you carry. I'm gonna follow your lead. We're gonna go, you know, whatever way you wanna go. And if you fall down, I'm gonna pick you up just like that, so. I'm gonna just lean on my personality and hope you fall in love. Okay, I like that answer. That was a cute answer. Okay. Smart lad. He's basing her reaction on the previous dude to come up with a W there. He's cooking now. Yeah. I still wanna plow though. She's sure. sending hearts. You think he wins? Green's gotta win, right? The rest are respectfully bland. Well, the dude on the right isn't bland. He's just insane. He still wants to plow. At the end of the night, at the end of the night. At the end of the night? After the games, after the games. Contestant number three, if we were to meet up in the lobby, how would you impress me? Or how would you riz me up? I'd follow your lead and by the grace Bro, of God. Bro, I lost my gamer brain. She said lobby and I'm thinking of a hotel lobby. God, for whatever reason, because I trust your skills, but by the grace of God, should the enemy team just be spamming grenades and you get in the crossfire, and I'm the last one standing, as long as I know that you're in there, I'm gonna clutch it up all by myself. I don't care what I gotta do, I'll do it. I'm sweating, like, I'm sweating. Okay, I like that answer. They have to be like ride or die for me in the games. Like, if I'm like in trouble, they better like, like go over there and like defend. She wants a pocket. My ass, like. I respect it. Reverse the gender norms. Usually there's like a girlfriend pocket mercy and then you have like a boyfriend McCree or something. I don't know, dude. I don't play Overwatch. I got you. Like, I can't do it. anything if there's like... Don't even have to worry about it. Can you even pocket someone in Call of Duty? I feel like you can't. Maybe there's a way. Okay. Okay, perfect. Good. I like that answer. If she doesn't pick you, I'm picking you. You want to plow him? <laughs> oh my God. Nobody... There's no, be no plowing. <laughs> No plowing going on. Contestant two, if we were to meet in the lobby of a game, how would you impress me? How would you riz me up? What would you say? Like, that's such a weird question. Like, let's be real for a sec. If anyone ever tried to riz up a woman in the lobby of any game, they would get a roasted beyond belief. Like, the girl would probably report them, rightfully so, and all the other dudes in the chat would be roasting them. Me. I mean, like, it depends on the game. So if we're in like Fortnite, I'm playing like how I normally do. But once I find out you're a girl, oh, you need minis? Uh, oh, you need a big pot? I got you. Like, you know, I'm not that good at the game, so I might die. So I'm probably gonna have to rely on you a lot. If you need ammo, dropping it. You know, that could be my riz. No, I think that's that's a good answer. I, I'm always in the need for minis. I always need the big pots. Med kit. I mean, I usually like to hold the med kits. Oh, that's so, all you then. That's all you. You can let me hold the med kits, but I like that I answer. Chug -chug. So contestant number one, if we were to meet up in the lobby and you figure out I'm a girl, how would you impress me or riz me up? I'm 
pretty much always on the top of the board. I've, I've always been an in-game leader. So when it comes to the game, I mean, I'll always not tell you what to do, but help stray you the right direction. It was a little different from the last guy. All right, like, he's, he's finally gonna get eliminated. He did not think critically and realized that would be a bad answer. Green guy thought critically and was like, okay, she doesn't like when dudes mansplain and this dude went. And he, he, he was like, I'm gonna mansplain, but I'll do it nicely. That's kind of what he went with. Answer, the one that I eliminated. But it was a little bit similar. He wants to like help me out a little bit when I'll, I'll take a little bit of help, you know, like if I do need it, but at least he wasn't doubting my skills right away. You know what I mean? So you oh. can tell she's a little bit annoyed. And how I'd riz you up. Uh, I'm a different breed when I, when I smell an e-girl in the server. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, I'd probably rip you uh, just Whoa. straight shot, thumb in or thumb out. <laughs> Alright, death eliminate him? Right now? What? Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody got that. You took, a, you took a risk on that one. Hey, that's a good risk. He did take a big risk on that. <laughs> he did take a big risk on that one. He really did. These two right here, number one and number five, they're trouble. They I are. Can, I can tell that immediately. I like that they're both like the start and the end because, you know, we get hit with something insane, then we coast into something insane. It's good pacing. I wonder if the kickback producers set that up on purpose. By the way, I'm in therapy. <laughs> okay. I'm getting okay. better. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's good to know, honestly. I am going to eliminate... Right. Number one. Contestant number two. What? I she hates real gamers. He's the realest gamer there. I have beef with her now. All right, there's no W inside anymore. That means five needs to win. It's guaranteed. Because number four was like a little bit weird. Or was it number three? Whatever. Black shirt. He's like a little weird. And number one's extremely weird. Actually, maybe number, maybe black shirt's more bland than weird. We'll see. I feel like he is a little bit shy, but like that's okay. He's a gamer. That's okay. He's I a real gamer. Just, I got a little bit more from everyone else and their answers. And he said he would give you all the loot that you need and you loved it. This dude said he's going to rip you with a right shot or some weird, I don't know, cod-ism. I don't even know what he was saying. I just needed a little bit more from him, but... I, I appreciate him wanting to supply me with minis and like all that in Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Like I really do appreciate that, but. It's hard work. Someone gotta do it. It's okay. Appreciate <laughs> you, love bug. Smooch. Hi. Hi. Ron, nice to meet you. And Aiden, nice to meet you. Yeah, you know, didn't go the way it seems. It's okay. Yeah. You know, life doesn't go the way it seems. Exactly. What does that mean? Be fair. Yeah. I don't know if I'm looking to the camera. <laughs> what is what does life didn't go the way it seems mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't have any questions. Yeah. Okay. No, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, fire. <laughs> I like Ron. He's a cool gamer. I'd play with him. I mean, he seemed super chill. Like, I, yeah. I liked his vibe. You I should like feel him. bad. He's a gamer's gamer. Unless you don't want a real gamer. His vibe. I just needed a little bit more from his answer. Yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> but like... More on the yes side. Ron was the See, winner. These, these two right here, I'm like super concerned about, but the middle one, like I get really like sweet, like vibes. I get sweet yeah, the backup boyfriend. This is the real strat. Pick number five right here. And if you don't like him, just go to this guy. Cause he, he seems like he's into that. He's apparently into that type of stuff. Vibes from all Def of that. Don't pick this guy though. Don't pick the no Russian cod lobby, rip you right, whatever the hell that means. Them, but especially in the middle also one. let's let's point it out dudes wearing a certified master batter shirt my head's in the way certified master batter shirt which is kind of funny all right contestant number one what is your personal red flag when it comes to gaming oh i'd be shit talking like a motherfucker if you're on the bottom of the team i'm not saying you in specific but if we're playing with one of your friends and they ain't lifting their yeah, weight. Yeah, he seems like the type to tie up his ego in how good he is at a game. And it's kind of weird because he also seems like the type to play like nonstop. And th this is kind of my stance. If you want to tie your ego up in a game, you know, you do you. Be a bad person. But you need to take into consideration the hours played. If someone played more hours than you in their garbage, go ahead, roast them. But if someone played like far less hours than you and you roast them, you just look like an idiot. You look like a loser with all due respect. You're a bozo. You're a clown. Absolutely. Even the enemy team too. 
I do not care. Not yeah, hopefully the enemy team, Bozo. That's better than roasting your own teammate. When they're they're not pulling their weight, so I, I understand that. I, I also shit talk like when I'm playing games. Let's Sometimes go. I rage a little bit. Toxic femininity. You no, know, it's it's just natural. It just happens. I wouldn't consider that like a red flag necessarily, because like I feel like she did say being a COD gamer was a green flag. So her reply here shouldn't be too surprising to us. All gamers kind of rage a little bit. So give me a sample of you raging, shit talking. I like to tell people that Aim Labs is free. Especially if they can't hit the red side of a barn. We explained that a little bit. Uh, the entire barn is red. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your go-to line for somebody that's just like pissing you the fuck off? Like, don't say just... that one. <laughs> uh, God, probably just like your ass. It'll it'll get kickback demonetized if he says the real line. That's about it. I don't really get too crazy with like the name calling. A lot of TOS out there. I mean, your ass is like just. I mean, it's normal. Like, that's, it's very... that's a good, that's a normal one. All right, contestant number five, what is your personal red flag when it comes Damn, to gaming? Damn, she's skipping over black shirt. Uh, my personal red flag when it comes to gaming is probably that I'm always going mobile. So like, I'll be out here getting squad kills, leaving the team, but I don't typically die. So yeah, you know someone... what? That's fair. I kind of have a tendency to do that as well. A lone wolf, if you will. Who also likes to go mobile. We could have that red flag together, but yeah, I'm, I'm like- Is he oh, saying mobile? Is that what it's called? It's with the jump pads, moving around, trying to get the most kills. Moving around, just traveling all over the map. I'm traveling for sure. Okay. LeBron James. That's a good answer, <laughs> as long as you're not leaving me behind, because nothing pisses me off more. Are you mobile? That, I mean, I'll, I'll follow you. Yeah, keep up, with all due respect. If you want to take the lead when it comes to where we go, you know, like, no but cap. don't leave me behind. Contestant number three, what is your gaming red flag? I'll be honest, like whenever we go on a losing streak or I find myself going on a losing streak, I get really quiet. And it's just because I'm trying to focus more. The second I'm on like my fourth losing streak and something like the stupidest, the, I die in the stupidest way, I, I kind of go on a rant. I, I call people Nimrod and Goober a lot. That's my thing. So <laughs> <laughs> gotta be safe, can't get banned. Nimrod, like the Those are very silly oh, names to call someone. You're not throwing your controller or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. I'm not a five year old. He's six. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, Have you ever broken a controller? I think I've broken one in my time, like by throwing it when I was real little. Maybe like eight? I don't even remember the game. Regretted it deeply. Now I almost never rage, ever. How about you? How about you? No one's asked you yet. Yeah. Which sucks because I really like this expression and I just kind of never get to use it. Well, you guys are very shy. Haven't asked me much, but... I, I don't think they're supposed to ask her, are they? Is that how this works? I just assumed you didn't have any red flags. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my gosh, like, you're so, like, fucking annoying. That's my line is, you're so fucking annoying. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go with... Oh my gosh, no, this is so hard. Please eliminate dude on the right, please. Uh, contestant number one. Thank God. Like all jokes aside, all memes aside, LOL let this dude putting the hearts up all the time. I genuinely think I would dislike this person greatly, IRL. He just strikes me as one of the most toxic, ego-driven little comp gamers. I'm going to have to eliminate you. I, I liked all your answers, but I sometimes like didn't know like- <laughs> Did you like all his answers? All the like exact like lingo and like games like you were talking about um but i, just, I don't know like to put it like straightforward i feel like some, you're too cool for me <laughs> speaking of thinking someone's too cool when they're actually extremely nerdy with all due respect my cousins used to play wow all the time and like growing up i was like oh they're so cool that's so cool and honestly i do still think it's kind of cool because i'm a gamer you know but the outsider's perspective is my cousins were the biggest nerds on earth but as a little fella, I was like looking up to them like, wow, that's so cool. Good luck, good luck. I love you. Oh my God, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Come to on, meet sir. you. So you I just think it. I'm too good? I got I mean, not too good. I just like- You're a gatekeep elitist Andy. Those are the vibes you put off. That's what she means when she says too cool. You appear condescending, like you're too good for others. I think that's what she wants to say, but she wants to be nice. Or that's just me being a hater. I don't know. 
you're very experienced and advanced, it seems like. So yeah. I don't know. Like it was down to the last three. Like All right. Want to eliminate so this guy is the funniest, clearly. He's also, you know, the F boy. Um, this guy seems like just a, a good, normal dude. A little boring, possibly. He's got the Todd Howard uh, watch on. Um, like I said, she should pick this guy. And if it doesn't work, just fall back on this guy because he'd be into it. That's what I think is going to happen. We'll see, though. Like any of them. But, you know, I just it was a gut feeling and I can't explain it. But he, he's a cool guy. So green guy is boyfriend. Black shirt is husband. If you're an evil woman, is she an evil woman? I don't know. She plays cod. She might be. Well, you know me and the white guys, you know, Latina, I am just gravitate towards them. So what is <laughs> I would say yes and no. As long as you're a white guy. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Hi. This is me plowing. <laughs> okay. All right. Good to, good, good to know. I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Johnny, sometimes on the street. Sometimes. Just when I'm gaming. Just when I'm gaming. It better be just when you're gaming or we're going to have a problem. Question. Are these, uh, my bad if this is not rude, but are these earlobes, like, do you get them from when you have gauges and then the gauge closes? Or does he just have large earlobes? If he does, you're my fault. My apologies. So they're cute. I like them. Yeah. Gorgeous. I will take you home to my she's, mama. She's pretty. She's cute. She's the gamer girl cute that you'd expect. So we're going to test your gaming skills and go on a little speed date. Oh, all right. This Winner is fun switched. now. It's a win win. 1v1 honestly. on Mario Kart. Okay. It's a win win. We'll, we'll see about that. I don't, I don't know if you're going to win against me, buddy, but oh, I know yeah. we are matching. Green flag. <laughs> Who do you want to be? I don't want to take your character. I'm, I'm going to be Daisy. All right, I'm gonna be Peach. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, I didn't even notice you picked Toad. I picked Toadette. I picked mine first. She's copying me. I didn't know. I didn't even see you did that. So. <laughs> how do you go? How do you go forward? See, like now I'm like, wait, how do I go forward? B button, again? which is weird. The... Wait, is it not B button? I think it's B button. Switch. It's like I have to remind booth. myself. Is oh wait, a? no. Is it Y button? Pretty sure it's A. Okay. Pretty okay. sure it's A. Is it's it a? a? I haven't played Mario. In theory, it should be A, but A on the. Switches on the right. I don't know, bro. Hurt in like ages, so. Yeah, see, like I play Mario Kart with the girlies, like <laughs> when they come over, like so, and they have no idea what they're. B final answer. They're doing so. I'm just like beating them every time. Oh, you're in front of me. Calm down. Yeah. Now, calm down. Actually, the optimal first, strat last. is to pick a heavy character because they're not going to be getting hit with a lot of items. Therefore, they don't need acceleration. But I digress. They call me Ricky Bobby. I mean, that's... but the beginning of the movie. Right, listen, as the slow. real gamer oh, in the it? room, let me just say the no drifting, it's hurting my soul a great deal. Gaming. Or when did you, are you a streamer? No, I want to get into streaming, okay. but I don't, I don't have the equipment for that yet. But I started gaming when I was like. You know what? If anyone is looking to stream, the only thing you need is a somewhat decent mic. You don't need a cam. You don't need all this fancy stuff. You don't need a mixer so you can bleep on the fly. You don't need all that. All you need is a good mic. You just need some good, you know, decent audio. It doesn't need to be super expensive. That's just my advice. I got my start with no model. Like this wasn't here. I didn't have a webcam either. It was it was nothing. And then I started using a PNG, which you can get for free, by the way. So you can do it. I believe in you. And I got Twitch partner doing that, by the way, with no cam. Believe in yourself. I mean, I've, I was playing Minecraft when I was like really young, but like I got my Xbox when I was 14. Okay. So in the Xbox first- Xbox 360 or Xbox One? The Xbox One. Okay. So in the first game I started playing was actually GTA. Damn, which... man. First console being an Xbox One? That's crazy. Also, she's way younger than I thought she was. I'm surprised she's still a gamer. She was brought in on, with all due respect, the worst console in years. And I owned one, unfortunately. SMH of me. But hey, I wanted Master Chief Collection, you know? I don't know if that says anything, but okay. <laughs> GTA is pretty rowdy. Yeah. But it was my favorite growing up. Yeah, so. GTA is good. What about you? When do you start gaming? Oh, I started way back on Xbox 360 when I was like. Yeah. Sam, he started on the 360 too. I'm trying to think. Like, if someone asked me when did I first start gaming, I don't know how to answer it. Like, I assume like four, three or four, like real toddler infantile hours, you know. 
I really do wonder what the first game was. I think I want to say like nine. Yeah, Halo 3 was my first game. Okay, Great game. I've heard some stuff Great about start. Halo. I've never played it before though. Sacrilege. Oh but speaking of never playing Halo, if anyone does have a gamer waifu out there, highly recommend playing through the Halo campaign with them. One of the best co-op games of all time, especially split screen. Uh, dude, I knew you were gonna be Oh, trouble. you're a cheater. That You have cheat codes. I knew you had cheat codes. So you're one of those that says they're cheating, they're cheating when you like- Listen, you can't talk behind. shit from behind. Why are you hating <laughs> on the club? You can't even get in. I mean, I'm, I'm in sixth I'm place right I'm now. I'm surprised he's so much in the lead without any drifting. Also, I mean, I Seventh, really don't actually, have- Seventh, actually, if we're really- Oh. Nope, sixth. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. So you said you're on Xbox, right? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So am I. Okay. Yeah. See, that, that's what I like to hear. Now I'm in first, so... Her not having the Elite controller while claiming to be a COD gamer and on Xbox is now a little sus. That guy might have been onto something. This is... This is then again, it costs like $180, so I retract that statement. Never mind. Don't get an Elite controller. I've been getting really distracted, but I'll be honest. <laughs> I know. It's, it's hard to, like, talk and play Mario Kart. Like, I'm usually just, like in it visually though my mom said i'm cute i'm just wondering if she's right i mean she's right but some of the answers are a little concerning so we'll see after this i mean day. you didn't eliminate me no True. no i didn't eliminate you because I'm, I'm intrigued by it you know i just got to see what's what's going on with you honestly i'd probably take you to like this new place over in over in gilbert it's like a arcade slash like go-karting place one thing i noticed with these kickback fellas is they like love to dox their general location like it's in arizona and last time they had to remove a video entirely because like one of the girls straight up doxed herself like essentially put out her address it's on my uh, my channel it's bleeped in there though it's the girl rich girl lies to try winning 1000 i'll pin it up here if anyone wants to watch that Okay. Just to keep keep the, the little gaming vibe going, and yeah. then after that we can kind of get back to like normal, normal yeah. non gaming stuff. You okay, know? I'm I'm into that. I actually did a lot of like go karting and stuff when I was like younger, so oh, yeah? I love that. Yeah. Okay, so you're into the the racing or the speed? Yeah. Yo, hold up. Question: Do schools have these now instead of the giant CRTVs on like the giant towers? Because this is pretty cool. Nah, there's no way they do, right? Nah, nah, nah they can't. There's no way. Okay. I like that, so. Okay, that's a good, good response. Good answer. I got black, I got semen on my screen. Was he about to say I got blacked? He seems like the type to say that. Especially since he followed it up with I got black semen on my screen. Dude, that's ink, that is ink. He, he got second place and I got sixth place, so. Two losers. I tried my hardest. Sometimes I throw fits. All right. Okay. All right, I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying. Okay, I'm uh, second. This is crap. Okay, that's fine. That's this fine. is bullshit. I should have got first. Dude. I'm, I'm going to call you a Nimrod for that one. <laughs> Nimrod? Yeah. A few red flags. Like, he said he threw fits. It's it was a, little, a joke fit. A bit of a red flag. She just saw that she got cooked. Just a prank. Look, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this dude grew on me. It worked. The F-boy trap worked. I'm in. I'm rooting for him. I don't know. I, th I thought it went okay. There was a few comments there. I was like, <laughs> I think that's why I ended up in sixth place because threw he threw me off with the comments. Yeah. Definitely 100%. Okay. When is your last relationship? My last relationship? Probably like two and a half years ago. I've kind really? of just been, dude, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm, okay. I'm fine with it just being me, myself, and I. Like, okay. I can you know. that. What about you? When was your last relationship? Four, a little over, I want to say five months ago. Five months, months ago? ago? Okay. Yeah. That's that's not bad. That's not a bad answer. I feel like I can move on. What even is a good answer to that? Like, do you want it to be a very long time? Or do you want it to be like short to prove social worth? I never really know what people want when they ask that. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's moved on. He's moved on. <laughs> that's what matters. His skills were good. He got second place. Like, I, I was honestly expecting him to like get sixth and then me get second, but like, he did good. He did good. He did better than me. So, all right. Well, I'm so, glad you let me go this long. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, good, good game. Good yeah. game. Even though we lost to the bots. So, it's okay. It was good playing with you. Nice it was you. good playing, playing with you. Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, both of those dates were really good. All right. Make your comments now. Who's going to win? My money is on green guy, but the black shirt's a good guy. He's a good little gamer fella as well.
Green guy entertains me though. Have a lot of personality, yeah. The hearts. You have a lot of personality, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, I kind of get like devious, like mischievous vibes from you. Not to me. I think your gamer tag may be literal. <laughs> I do social media, it's just my social media handle. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's understandable. I feel like I've dated guys like you before, but that's also a good thing and like a bad thing at the same time. But I like uh, the personality. I like that you have a lot of personality. That's good. And with my date with you, I feel like you're very And sweet. I like that you have no personality. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And like very genuine. And you may be like a little shy, but I, I do. He's, he's just a shy little fellow. Look at us. Just two little guys chilling. We're shy. I did like our date. Like that was okay. a good one. I like both of them. Very different though. All right. So. I mean, like I said, bro, pick him. He's the fallback. The person I choose is Brandon. And the good guy won. I was rooting for green, but the good guy won. Round of applause. Yeah, you, you, you were great, man. Hey, can, I, uh, can I get your friend or? Oh. Oh. Can I get your snapper? Yeah. No. Uh, I'll take two L's today. Red flag. See, this is, this is why I chose this one right here because I, I knew he was up to no good. He's You're on your shit. You're on your shit. I've been with guys like him before. They're mischievous. They are not to be trusted. But I, I had to keep him around because, you know, I'm kind of like into that. But like, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. But. Oh, yeah, no. I'm Poor little and... fella. Head fat. I liked him because he was very sweet and he seems very genuine. Oh so, God. and I like his, I like his outfit too. And we're kind of matching. So yeah. I yeah. respect her liking this outfit. It's just simple, you know, okay. I, I yeah. don't like the watch though. Uh, not okay. from him. He's mischievous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Can I take you on a, on a proper date? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. I like the go-karting idea. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Um, oh, real go-karting. That's a W. Like it. Okay, I'll get your gamer tag. Yeah, we'll yeah. add each other and we'll game. All right, cool. If you cool. love this video, you're going to want to check this one out. I don't think I will because I'm a gamer and that's not gamer coded. But W video from Kickback. Go check them out. Like I said, they are a Jubilee clone, but they're way better than Jubilee. They only have 11K subs and this only has 3.1K views. But I thought that was very good. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.